two two point question here. Uh, do you think it hurts though efforts by you and other women who are serious about the game that mostly what we hear about the ladies game is oh these lingerie leagues that float float in and out around and Denver even had a team like that and two could you tell us more about the league you're participating in because I don't think people without a team in Denver we assume that people really don't know much about the league you're involved with absolutely um first and foremost let me say yes I, I do find um, lingerie football hurts football in general because if that's what your image of women in football is, then that's a problem. It's like comparing WWE to the UFC. Are there some great athletes in there? Absolutely. I actually coached a lingerie team briefly. Um, but is it football as football should be? No. And are those girls being used for things other than their football acumen, absolutely. I have great friends that played in the lingerie league. I'm still friends with them. I always will be. But at its core, it's, it's just not the same thing as seeing women play NFL rules, 11 on 11, 100% all out football, you know, um, or representing our country. And, you know, I have two gold medals in, in women's football, in American football. And those are two very different animals. Um, in terms of the league that I'm participating in, it's indoor football, and you know it's a feeder system to a lot of the other football leagues out there. You know, guys that play in the indoor game have to be very fast, very versatile. You know, and you've seen a lot of players like obviously the best known one is Kurt Warner coming from arena football and saying that it made them better in the game because they had to see things so fast. And that's what we as coaches are looking to do with these guys. We want to give them the best coaching that they can see and develop them as both players and people. You know, the guys who are in our league, a lot of the times were from smaller schools, maybe didn't have the film that they needed to go to the NFL. Some of them were in camp. Some of them have played in the NFL. And for one reason or another, some were, you know, discipline problems or whatever, they needed – um, a little bit extra to get back to that level, and that's why they're here. So you have guys who are giving 100% to the game of football in order to reach the next level. 